This is the S&P 500 one day reading for October 17th, 2023. It's currently September 10th, 2023, 3.11 p.m. Eastern time. And the shuffle file we're about to play for the 17th was created on July 28th, 2023 at 1.51 p.m. Eastern time. That's this video right here. So the overall theme and behavior, we have a brief peak that's easily missed followed by a decline through multiple supports. The interesting thing though, is that we do have um, it nullified. So it makes the theme, the overall trend a little bit more difficult to determine. My sense is that it's likely to the downside being that that's also kind of like a cross reading uh, correlation where we have the um, 10 of cups and the eight of cups are very close energetically. They, they correlate to each other. Um, so notable, probably to the downside. And we also have uh, the appearance of a cross reading congruency where we have a low. Um, the failure card is the low on the one year for the for the October cluster. Um, there's also a cross reading congruency here on the seven uh, uh, for the high on the 17th, which is the Hermit card. We have the Hermit card here on the 16th. It didn't appear on the 16th, but it ended up appearing on the 17th at the high, which is another um, indication that we opened lower. There's a there's a resistance level here that's really imp that's important at the beginning of the day that's highlighted, and I think probably a pretty sharp yeah pretty sharp drop first thing in the morning to uh, a significant trough or, or low between 10 and, and 11 o'clock ish um, sideways rotation along the uh, along key support near the low is also nullified making indicate making determining where the low is in the timeline a little bit more difficult and sometimes not we're not able to do so but the, the death card definitely indicates some sort of important bottom I don't think this high is a high for the day I think it's more so like a crest uh, like a prominent crest at the end of the day after more decline. Um, I'm, and I'm advised to trade around a decline through creating multiple new resistance on the way down. So notable decline, the ruin card. Um, so, okay, so again, an er, uh, important resistance first thing in the morning. And then we have got the full card, which is a really significant decline. In, and then there's another important resistance highlighted uh, in the first half hour followed by uh, that death card between 10 and 11, where we have an important trough of some kind. And then there's a decline after that trough, looks like we have a trade opportunity between roughly uh, 11 and 12, and there's more decline into a period of volatility. There's a peak uh, around 12.45. There's a peak that'll stand out in the midst of that, that volatility. So my sense is that that Prince, Prince of Swords card is likely to the upside. It's a difficult card to determine just by reading it on its own, but when you throw down another card, and when you get the Science card, it becomes difficult to, yeah, I think it's mixed, it's mixed, but um, there's a peak in there between probably close to 12.45 and then three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level. Um, in the uh, between roughly one and two o'clock another trade opportunity actually that's where you would want to close out of a trade interesting so i'm going to look at that in more, more detail in just a minute um, we have a, a notable decline through multiple supports between roughly two and three and then that takes us to the establishment of support in the last hour followed by a notable move higher it'll stand out on a one day chart and then uh, right at the close looks like we decline pretty notably from a, another uh, from an important peak there's a trade opportunity in there so I think the, yeah, so in the midst of this this move to the upside that was a fake out on the 16th, that's where I'd wanna enter into a short position. And I would hold that short position either till, these are all places where you could exit, either here around 11.30, 11 11.40, um, or the, utilize the harvest ruin, which is uh, roughly, uh, roughly two o'clock a little bit before two, like 145. But um, you want to be mindful that there is some behavior in between those two opportunities that might make you shake, it might shake you out before that second opportunity. And then at the end of the day, it looks like in the midst of this big move to the upside, um, there's likely an opportunity to open up a short position in anticipation of a low, an important low here around the cusp of the 18th, 19th. Sneak preview for the following day, sideways rotation and a fast sudden move higher marking the end of that period of sideways rotation. 
Uh, that's the S&P 500 for the 17th. My friends, if you want to get this information sooner, you can get it on our website sooner by going to our services, SOMeta posts at our website, tarotfortraders.com. Click on early access to our posts. Two, 29 bucks a month, 249 for the year gets you access to all of our public posts. Uh, notably, like significantly in advance in most cases, it's like usually around a month, but sometimes we get a little delayed here and there. Um, point is, is that that's, that's the earliest you can get the information. That's also a really great way to support the channel. Uh, but most importantly, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You do so here on the resources tab of our website. Make sure to send 5% of the profits back to the channel here through one of these uh, click here links and 5% of the profits forward to one of these charities, leaving you at 90% as long as you spend that money out of love and follow those rules. The universe is going to send it back to you tenfold through this channel for being an angel investor, my friends. I'll see you guys on the next one.